Jim Backus in My Mary Oh, that's a beautiful robe, Joni. Oh. Brad's gonna love it. Oh, I hope so, Bev. Well, I better wrap it up and put it back in the box again. Our anniversary isn't until tomorrow. Gee, that robe is just gorgeous. And you know the nicest thing about it? What, the color? No. The material? No. The style? No. What? You've got a husband to fill it with. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hear Brad coming up the driveway. I don't want him to see this. You know how snoopy men are. Well, how about in the closet up on the shelf? Yeah. Oh, no, he's liable to see it when he hangs up his coat. I know. Under the couch. Oh, that's fine. Look at it. See? Can't see a thing. Well, that, now, not a word about this present, but... Wait a minute. Hi. Ah, oh, girl. <laughs> Hiya, honey. Oh, hello, lover. Ah. Oh, hi. Yeah, how are you, dear? <clears throat> What's new? Oh, nothing much. The Wilson case goes to the jury tomorrow, and I can't say that I'm sorry. It's been a long, hard case. You know, it's amazing how tired you get just sitting there all day. Uh, something wrong? Wrong? Yeah, what's the big grin for? Oh, the grin? Well, I'm just happy, honey. Oh, that's good. Well, after all, tomorrow's our 10th wedding anniversary. Our anniversary. Golly, 10 years. <laughs> I'll bet you think I got a present hidden somewhere in the house for you. Yeah, I guess you might. Well, as a matter of fact, I have. But I'm not going to tell you where it is. Okay, honey. <laughs> now, there's no sense in snooping around, Brad, because you'll never find it. It's really hidden. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait till tomorrow, that's all. Uh, there's no sense in asking me what it is, either, because I'm just not going to tell you. Uh-huh. It is something you really need, though, Brad. Oh? <laughs> that's all the information you're going to get, honey. No sense in trying to pump me. It just won't do you any good. Okay, dear. I bet you're burning up with curiosity, ain't you? Well, yes, I would like to know what it well, is, but I'm... three guesses, then. Oh, you now, it's tomorrow. I can wait take one. three guesses. But, Joni... All right, let's see. An alligator belt, a sleeveless sweater, and a new briefcase. <laughs> take two more, guesses. Oh, now, honey, tomorrow's the end of... I'm perfectly willing to wait. I never saw anybody so curious in all my life. But hounding tomorrow, me. Tomorrow, and I just want to... Oh, honey, this is silly. I... Well, how do you like it? How do I... I haven't even seen it yet. It's... Ridiculous. I'm... Look, oh. Look. Oh, lover, it's beautiful. Huh? Honey, that is the handsomest robe I've ever seen. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. There are many, many happy anniversaries. And the same to you. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> If you hold it any longer, you're going to be celebrating your 11th anniversary. Oh, oh hello, Bev. I, I was just uh, thanking your, your sister for the lovely robe, that's all. Oh, so you got it already. Men, you know how snoopy they are. Well, honey, what do you want to do tomorrow to celebrate? Well, let's see, dear. Last year, we went to that little French restaurant, and the year before that, we got tickets to a show. Golly, I know a wonderful way to spend an anniversary. Oh, honey. Well, I read it in one of those love story magazines. On their anniversary, this couple got married all over again. Gee, it was romantic. I'll get the magazine and show you. What? A wedding ceremony. <laughs> well, that sounds wonderful. Now, wait a minute. I'm a judge, and I know my rights. A man cannot be convicted of the same crime twice. Jimmy <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Oh, honey, I was only kidding. A little, little legal joke, you know, honey. <laughs> but, honey, a uh, uh, marriage ceremony, lots of love story stuff. Oh, honey, but it's so romantic. Why don't we have an exact duplicate of our wedding ceremony tomorrow? Well, we can't make it the same way anyway. Don't you remember? We had a double ceremony with that couple we met down at City Hall. You know, Natalie, um, whatever her last name is. Well, honey, they live here in town. I'll find them. Yeah. And we'll have the same double wedding ceremony, the same justice of the peace, the same dress, the same ring. Absolutely not. That's the same thing you said then, too. Oh, justice. Ceremony, I mean, really. <laughs> Will you do it, honey? No. Any? 
any... Oh, no, come on, Joe. You're me. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, I'll do it. <laughs> Gee, after ten years, it still works. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it sounds like a beautiful idea. Joni, we'll be there. Definitely. I give you my word. You shut off the fight. Yeah, and you're not watching the fight tomorrow night, either. We're joining Joan and Brad Stevens, and we're celebrating our 10th anniversary by getting married all over again. Are you out of your mind? We're staying right here tomorrow and watching the fight, and if you think... That is, that is kind of a romantic way to spend our anniversary, ain't it? <laughs> I'm as excited as I was 10 years ago at my wedding. Say, I'll bet this is the same dress you wore then. <laughs> How can you tell? Because it's out of style? It's not only out of style, it's out in a few other places, too. <laughs> Look at the zipper closed. Are you kidding? I weigh the same amount now as I did then. Well, if the amount is the same, boy, is your distribution changed? <laughs> there. Thanks. I think. Oh, get this outfit. Fix it. Oh. You know, it took me three hours in the attic this morning to find this marriage certificate. <laughs> I put it in the trunk after the wedding, and I haven't looked at it since. Gee, someday I'd like to have one of those. Uh, what's it say on there, Joni? Oh, just a few little words that changes the whole course of your life. It says, under authority of a license issued by the county clerk, I, the undersigned as a justice of the peace, do hereby join in holy matrimony Bradley J. Stevens and Natalie Lyons. You see, just a few little words. Natalie Lyons. Of course, Natalie Lyons. That's what it said. It, uh, Bradley J. Stevens and Natalie Lyons joined in holy... Holy smoke! <laughs> How can that happen? Oh, gosh, I don't... I don't know. Well, it was a double wedding and the Justice of the Peace put Natalie Lyons' name on Bradley's certificate. And, and I've been with Brad for... Ten Beverly, don't look at me that way. I didn't know. But, Johnny, what are you going to do? Oh, I never should have found this marriage certificate. You know how legal Brad is about such things. And, well, I, I don't know what he'll do when he sees this. Yes, I'd better hide it Johnny. before Brad... Johnny! Well, well, how's the blushing bride this evening? Just blushing. <laughs> well, Johnny, lots of luck. My, my, you look just as frightened and nervous as you did ten years ago. I am. I mean, I was. Now, Brad, I was thinking. You were right about this double wedding ceremony. It's just a lot of sentimental nonsense. Let's call it off. No, 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 dear. I, I was wrong. I love the idea now. It'll be such a wonderful feeling to see that other couple again. The same old justice of the peace. And I even like the idea of seeing that old marriage certificate again. You know, I haven't seen it since our wedding day. Well, honey, what if we can't find that old marriage certificate? You know, it might be lost. Or it might be stolen or something. It might be. You couldn't tell. <laughs> How do you like that? That's our old marriage certificate. You know, I'll bet it's been hidden in the back of that dresser and stuck there for years and years, and it slipped out tonight of all nights. It's unbelievable. It's uncanny. It's unfortunate. Huh? It's unfortunate that I found it so late. <laughs> oh, oh, that uh, must be Natalie and Bill now, or maybe Mr. Ferguson, the Justice of the Peace. Give me the, give me the marriage certificate. Oh, oh, no, no, dear. I'll, I'll take it. You see, I, uh, I have to hand it to him later anyway. Oh, Mr. Ferguson. Good evening. Hello, Good evening. Mr. Ferguson. So nice to see you. May I take your hat, please? please. <laughs> well, I must say this is a splendid way to celebrate an anniversary. Certainly proves that romance is still alive in your marriage. Uh, well, I, I thought it was sentimental at first, but I admit I was wrong. Well, I must say that's big of you. I think it's big of me. Big of me. Big of me. Oh, won't, you, won't you sit down, Mr. Ferguson? Oh, there you are. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, a 
have it just trying to uh, fix your flap. It was inside. I was trying to unflip your flap. <laughs> well, it's neither. <laughs> and, uh, oh, uh, see, it must be the other couple. Will you excuse me? Well, here they are now. <laughs> oh, Natalie, Bill, Bill, how are you? Oh, Mr. Ferguson, how are you? It's been such a long time. Oh, you look wonderful. Well, I'm so glad to see you. Say, you four people certainly do look wonderful. The little operation I performed some years ago doesn't seem to have bothered you at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we all stand over here? Yes. Uh, that's fine. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, before we proceed, I should like to say it gives me great pleasure to be with you this evening. <laughs> Just think, ten years ago tonight, you two couples stood before me and took your vows of holy matrimony. <laughs> I should like to read a little poem right now that seems to be fitting the occasion. <clears throat> Let us count the years with its smiles and its tears, and the songs... Oh, a little music. That's nice. And the songs that are still to be sung, of hopes that are dear to us, joys that are near to us, and bells... For oh, heaven's sakes, Bill, we're getting married. This is a championship Wrong. fight. Can't we get married between rounds? Oh, that's all I ever hear. Oh, yes, oh, I almost oh, forgot. Tonight is the night of the big championship fight. Can't we get married tomorrow night instead? Yes. Why, Joni? Why, 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 Come once in a while to see you fight. Why, 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 How dare you watch that fight during this fight? Now, shall we proceed in a manner befitting this tender and romantic occasion? Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Oh, uh, before we proceed, uh, do you have the original marriage certificates? Oh, well, yes, I, I have it right here in the... In... No, this is not, it must be... Oh, well, no matter, we can proceed without Oh, but them. I have mine. I found it this morning. Oh, so you do. Hey, <laughs> Let's see now. Uh, oh, yes, this huh? This, 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 huh? Joined in holy matrimony, <laughs> William Matthews and Joan Davis. Thank you. What was that? I said joined in holy matrimony. No, the last part. Oh. Uh, 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 William Matthews and Joan Davis. Here, let me see that. Oh, you're married to him. Uh, Radley Stevens and Natalie. Oh, no. I'm married to her. She's married to him. Goodness. What did I do? Well, to put it mildly, Mr. Ferguson, you goofed. <laughs> Fine anniversary. Yeah. Just think, tonight makes exactly ten years we haven't been married. Oh, we're married, all right. You're married to Bill Matthews, and I'm married to Natalie Matthews. Except her name isn't Matthews. She isn't married to Bill. Say, that's right, then legally, her name is... Stevens. Natalie Stevens. All right, now, don't worry, honey. It's, it's just a matter of a few legal technicalities, that's all. Natalie and I will have to get a divorce, and so will you and Bill. And, and then they'll have to be married again, and, and, and so will we. Just hope there's no publicity, that's all. Oh, I hope so, dear. Why, the newspapers didn't have a field day. Now, don't worry about it, Joni. I, I, I think I can get it done in, in closed chambers, that's all. Brad, don't go. But, the Joni, I have no choice. Technically, we're not married, so it's impossible for us to stay under the same roof. And even if I were willing, I'm, I'm sure that you wouldn't be. Do you understand? Brad, don't go. Joni. Well, I don't want you to leave, Brad. But it's only temporarily. I'll be staying at my club. Well, why can't you stay here, honey? I know what. Uh, you'll sleep up in the attic, and I'll sleep in the basement. I'll go out in the garage. I'll go out in the yard and pitch a tent. I'll dig myself a foxhole and stay in there, but please don't leave me. No, no, Joni, Joni, I'm sorry, but there just can't be even the slightest breath of scandal. You know that. And look, lover, you know something? In, in two weeks, the, the, the whole thing will seem just like a bad dream. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, honey. Well, wait a minute, dear. Your new robe, you forgot to pack it. Oh, no, no, dear, I can't take it. Why not? It's yours. No, dear, you bought it for your husband. Well, I thought I was, I'm not, and until I am, I can't. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, I'll keep in, in touch with you, dear. Lover. Oh, no, the neighbors. Don't have breath and scan, remember, Joni? Bye. <laughs> Brad, 
And you ain't Natalie. Ain't we both lucky? <laughs> well, I'll have to get a teammate for that lock, unless Brad left his. On second thought, maybe we'd better change the lock, because I don't want Brad coming back here and annoying my wife. <laughs> well, what's this all about? Why the suitcase? Uh, just for the time being. I'll send for the rest of my stuff tomorrow. Well, wait a minute. I think you've made a little mistake. I know it. And after ten years, it's time it was fixed. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. You see, this is what happens. Uh, you and I get a divorce. Then Brad and Natalie get a divorce, and I marry Brad, and you marry Natalie. Right? Wrong. Wrong? Right. I don't want a divorce. I'm a happily married man, and I'm very satisfied with my wife. <laughs> That's Brad's problem. And believe me, he's got a problem. Oh, say, this is very nice. You know, I'm going to like it here. Now, Bill. How about a kiss, baby? Get right out of this house. No, no, no. Is that a way for a wife to talk to a husband? Come on, now. Give me a kiss. Stop. Say, that's pretty good footwork. But I'm going to get you in a clinch anyway. <laughs> okay, baby. You got to come out sometime. Men's Club. Yes, ma'am. Judge Stevens. Judge Stevens, telephone. I'm sorry, ma'am. Judge Stevens doesn't seem to be in at the moment. Can he call you back? No, no, this is an emergency. You see, I got myself locked in my room. I'm trying to get rid of my husband, and I want Judge Stevens to move back in with me. I see. Well, I'll try the other. <laughs> Judge Stevens, for you. Oh, thank you. Hello? Oh, Johnny, uh, what is it? Your husband? Well, oh, he's out of his mind. I'll come right down there and beat him to a pulp. <laughs> Joan. Joan, listen to me. Oh, no, you don't. The only thing you can say that I'll listen to is that you're getting right out of this house. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I just realized how silly this is. Well, it's about time. So I'm getting ready to leave now. You want to come out and say goodbye? Oh, no. You're not going to trick me like that. I'll say it from here. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> goodbye, Joe. <laughs> oh. Oh, never... Ooh. Oh, water. Oh. Oh, no, I didn't. I was here all the time. You tricked me! You're right, honey. No, but... Boy, was I done. Uh, look, Bill, you wouldn't be interested in me. Why would you want such a stupid wife? Oh, they're the best kind. Besides, you ain't so dumb, baby. Oh, yes, I am. I'm a real dope. Duh, duh. See, I, 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 I'm real dope. Bill, honest, Bill. Bill, really, Bill. Bill! Oh. <laughs> Ain't married life fun? <laughs> From now on, the yard is out of bounds. What will my neighbors think? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'll be it, and I'll catch you. Come on, get a head start. Oh, no, 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 baby. Oh, no more running. Oh, no. Hey, what's this? Say, that's a snappy-looking roll. Put that down. I bought that for my husband. I mean, I bought it for Brad. I heard you the first time, dear, and thank you very much. Take it off. Take it off. Oh, Take no. it off. Take it off. <laughs> Brad! Tony, are you all right? Now you take your hands off my wife, you homebreaker. Homebreaker me? Brad? You heard me. 
Bradley Stevens, big time judge, third part of a triangle. Why, you? Where'd you get that wrong? My wife gave it to me. Our 10th anniversary. You like it? <laughs> Boy, come on now, you bastard. You put him up. Put him up, Brad. Put him up. Brad. This is my bad enough. Now, 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 Racket. All of your neighbors are complaining. Well, wait a minute, officer. I can explain everything. You see, that man and this one, and they're... Uh, well, I guess I can't explain everything. Well, how about you, lady? I can't. Well, it's very simple, officer. This woman is my wife, and this man is an interloper. I am not. I'm her husband. Oh, no, officer. I'm her husband. That's a lie. I am. I am. I am. I am. It takes three to tango. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, look, lady. Both of these guys can't be your husband. True? True. Then which one is it? Here, officer. This will explain everything. Now, what's this? Have I told you sorry to uh, William Matthews and Joan Davis? You William Matthews? You Joan Davis? Well, that's proof enough for me. All right. Come on, Buster. Let's get going. Now, wait a minute. That certificate isn't right. It isn't even binding. Oh, yes, it is. I know. I'm a one-time loser myself. Now, come on. Let's get going. Come on. I thought I'd find you here. Who's she? Why, she's... Uh, and is she? She's his wife. Aha! Uh -huh. She is not. I haven't even seen her in ten years. Oh, now you are in trouble. Wife desertion. Deserting? I, well, I don't even know what you're... Ignorance of the law is no excuse. He's not ignorant of the law. He knows the law backward and forward. Why, he's a... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you ask him to show you his marriage certificate? Yeah. How about it, bud? It's right in this pocket. Come on, if you've got one, let's have it. Uh -huh. Bradley J. Stevens? Natalie Lyons? That's me. Well, that settles it. Come on, over here. You over there. Now, you two have got to stay together and leave this couple alone. Crazy bunch of mixed up kids. <laughs> Now, look, officer, this woman is my wife, but it's only a technicality. I don't want to go anywhere with her, and what's more, she doesn't want to go anywhere with me. Oh, now, I wouldn't say that. What? Well, after all, I'm your wife, and a wife's place is with your husband. But... Especially a husband like you. You're kind of cute, you Natalie. Know? Oh, to think of all the years I wasted on him. Natalie, you ought to be ashamed of yourself chasing him. Look who's talking, Mr. Fleetfoot. Natalie, <laughs> you ought to know better than oh, to go fine. after a man like that. Now, quiet! Quiet! I'll get it. No, not in my house, you won't. You can both stay here. I'll get it. Now, you see what happened. Well, 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 who are you? Why, I'm Mr. Ferguson. Are you married to anybody in this room? Why, <laughs> good heavens, no. I'm the one who performed the marriage ceremonies. I just got back from the Hall of Records. I woke them up in the middle of the night. I was so upset, I told them I had to get this thing straightened out at once. Well, what did you find out? Oh, I found out they don't like to get up in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, they were simply furious with me. They said, About the wedding. What about the wedding? Oh, the wedding. Well, at City Hall, the official papers are correct. It was just a slip of the pen with your certificates. Oh, Brad, then legally I'm your wife. And I'm your husband. Oh, <laughs> well, who are those two? Uh, their husband and wife. Of each other. Uh, Let's get that straight. Come on, here and you, Mr. Ferguson. Let's have that double ceremony now. Uh -huh. Do you That's want to, Bill? Splendid. Yeah, yeah, sure, baby. I was just kidding with Joan before. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding with Brad, too. Is it all right? Well, sure, sure. Well, fine. well shall we? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I'll step over this way, right, then, please. Just the form around oh, yeah, there. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Well, I, uh, I guess I'll be running along. Oh, why don't you stay and be our flower girl? Oh, goodness. <laughs> yes, yes, please do, officer. Oh, okay, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> now, will Mr. and Mrs. Stevens join hands? Mr. and Mrs. Value? That's fine. <clears throat> now, let's see where we're. Oh, yes. Under authority issued by the county clerk and as justice of the peace of this state, I do hereby join in holy matrimony Bradley J. Stevens and Natalie Lyons and William Matthews and Joan Davis. You may kiss the brides. Brain is gone. To each his own, and he 
Seen in tonight's cast were Beverly Wills, Joseph Kern, Shirley Mitchell, Anthony Ward, Joseph Devlin, and James Nusser. I Married Joan, starring Joan Davis, is brought to you each week. Oh.